Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Mr. Coffee five cup mini brew easy on off switch. So the only thing it has, it has this on off switch on the front and it's five cups. Model number BVMC-SC05BL2-1 and also 2129512. This is 65 watts, 60 Hertz, 120 volts. So this is the one with just a standard switch that turns it on and off. They do sell one that you can program to brew later and has a clock on it. So let's just open it up. You've got a brew head here. This is where the hot water is going to come out. This is where you're going to put the water. It's got this little brew basket. Now you do have to buy some filters. You've got to buy some paper filters that go in here. They sell a one to four cup paper filter. So these are basket style, one to four cup filters. And you've got to put the filter inside this brew basket and then we'll put our coffee right there. But then it's got this, when you close the lid, it moves the brew head for you. So you're gonna move the brew head out to take this brew basket out. This brew basket's got the word back. Make sure it's sitting there. If you don't get it installed correctly, you know, it won't work, it won't close. It's got this big, cut out right here for that kind of like big handle right there. So make sure you got it installed correctly and the lid should close. Now this does have a warming plate. So this will keep your coffee warm. It does not shut off automatically. So you have to remember to turn the switch off in order to turn the warming plate off. It's got this little mini carafe. Very nice. I think things are very nice. Fits in there really well. So let's take a look at this filter basket. It's got this plunger in the bottom. So when that plunger push, gets pushed up, coffee can come out of the brew basket. And that craft lid has this little thing there. That's what pushes up the plunger. So when the craft is installed, coffee can flow out. But when you take the craft out, it stops the coffee. But you can't leave this out very long or it will start to overflow. So there is no cord storage. It's got a uh, two prong cord. Front to back's about nine inches. Side to side's about six. And with the lid all the way up, it's only about 15 and a half inches. So it will fit underneath the kitchen cabinet very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make coffee. First thing you're gonna have to do is move the brew head out of the way. Make sure this brew basket is installed correctly. The word back is there. Take your filter. Make sure you get just one filter. These are really thin. You're just gonna place it in there. Make sure it's kind of hugging the walls. And then we're gonna put our coffee right there. So this is just standard drip coffee maker, ground at a medium grind. And we're gonna use a tablespoon. So for whatever, how many cups you're gonna brew, I'm gonna brew the full five cups. I'm gonna put five tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, five. So I got my coffee right there. Now I gotta add my water. Let's go fill this craft up to five. Okay, so I've got this filled up to five. We're gonna simply dump the water right back here where the water goes. If you overflow it, there is a little opening right there that the water will come out. It's got a window on the side to show you how much water you've got in. So simply just close the lid. We've got our coffee grounds, our water. Close the lid. Make sure you put the pot back in and simply just turn the button on. It does have a green LED light that comes on. It's not super bright. We're gonna time it and do some temperature checks. Okay, so it starts brewing almost right away. I can hear it kind of boiling the water. Now don't, don't lift this lid. I'm doing it for demonstration purposes. See how it's starting to boil the water and send it over the coffee grounds. Okay, we can see the water or the coffee's coming into the coffee pot. Let's get some temperature checks of that water coming out. About 176, 178 sometimes. Now the coffee maker, it's a little noisy. It's not too bad. You'll hear kind of like a pop, like a... So this is how coffee makers work. This, there's a heating element underneath that the warming plate. So the water comes in, 
it gets heated and then it gets shot out this other pipe and then I've cut it open to show you what's inside there this is why it's important to descale. I'm going to do a separate video on how to descale this. So I'm starting to see around 180, 181. Looks like it's almost on the one cup mark. The coffee grounds are fully saturated. So towards the end, it gets a little bit louder. Okay, so that took about five minutes. We're not entirely done yet it's about the four and a half cup mark we've got a little bit of water to drain out of that filter basket so it's still draining out but it's just a little slower so when it's done brewing it it that warming plate stays on until you turn the switch off so even though it stopped brewing the water boiling the water over it um, it's going to keep that warming plate on so if you forget to turn the switch off it will boil that water out of this that water will evaporate out of here and you'll get burnt coffee in the bottom of your coffee maker pot. So let's see how it pours. That craft pours really nice. Let's see how hot the coffee is. It's a pretty hot cup of coffee, 170, yeah. And then let's see if we can see So that warming plate's about 250, 272 in places, between 270 and 250. So that's gonna keep that, that coffee nice and warm. So the coffee tastes really good. I let this cool and it's a very good tasting cup of coffee. Let's go over cleanup. You're gonna lift this up so when you're done, make sure you turn this switch off. That turns the warming plate off we got to move the brew head. Be careful. This stuff can be hot if you don't let it cool down. we got this little handle. We can grab this filter basket, and we can just dump out the coffee grounds in the trash can. It's not going to drip on us because it's got that plunger. So cleanup is very simple. All three of these parts are dishwasher safe. Um, be careful. You can lose that little washer and the spring and plunger. So just be careful if that little washer just snaps over that little plunger. This, this uh, hinged lid comes off and you can, put, you can put all three of these parts in the top rack of your dishwasher. So I brewed a full five cups, but if you only wanna brew three cups of coffee, you would just fill it up to the three mark here. This coffee maker brewed whatever water, whatever amount of water you put back here, when you turn that switch on, it brews that entire amount of water. So if you only put three, it brews three. Then just put accordingly three tablespoons of coffee in here. If you want four, fill up to the four, four tablespoons, five, five. So pretty simple coffee maker. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's pretty quick, five minutes for a full pot. It makes a really hot cup of coffee. The biggest thing, make sure you shut it off when you're done. So you can't just leave and expect it to shut off. It will evaporate that coffee out of there and then you'll have some uh, burnt coffee in the bottom of there. Check out my next video. I'm gonna show you how to descale this. So when your coffee is not as hot and doesn't, if it's not tasting as good, it's time to descale. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.